Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Midge. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I had to rush and do this video because earlier, a local media in China came out with a report saying that NIO, the premium Chinese electric vehicle company in China, which is outselling Audi, Benz, and Mercedes, um, is coming out with an EV we all know about, it's called Firefly, that's going to be only about 14000 a little over $14,000. Yes, you heard that right. But this claim that this car would also be have a hybrid uh, model to it. And the president just came out and said that it will remain pure electric and denies hybrid powertrain reports. Because the report was saying it's going to be a hybrid, but the CEO is saying no. The president said the Firefly brand will be launched on Neo Day 2024, continuing the pure electric technology route. Neo's co-founder and president, Lee Hong King, had denied that the company's third brand, codenamed Firefly, will be launching a hybrid model. So right now we have the Neo brand, which is the high-end premium that competes, like I said, against BMW, Audi, and Mercedes and outselling them. And then we have another brand under the Alps, logo uh the first one came out was onvo that is set to outsell tesla uh the model 3 uh the model y especially and all of the other sub brands like xpeng what xpeng is making uh xiaomi and the rest of them and then we have firefly which is another brand that is coming out on the firefly that's going to be even less expensive but yet superior with a five-star rating. Well, this brand, the first car under that brand, the Firefly brand, uh, was rumored to be a hybrid as well. And the CEO says, no, they're sticking to pure electric. The Firefly brand will be launched on Neo Day 2024. That's uh, December of this year, December 21st, I believe it is. And they're going to showcase it and then start delivering most likely in January. And we'll continue to follow the chargeable, swappable and upgradable pure electric technology route, the vice president said. Well, for those who are looking at my channel for the first time, what does it mean by chargeable, swappable and upgradable? So chargeable is like what Tesla, Xpeng, BYD um, and the rest of the electric vehicles does. If you're running low, you stop and you charge up. And when I talk to people, they always say, man, I, I, what, you got to wait 20 minutes. And a lot of people have range anxiety. In fact, on one of my past jobs, one of the young lady bought a Model 3, true story. And she's scared to go visit her relative in Delaware, even though the car can make it there. She has range anxiety. And I told her about Neo and she was blown away with the battery swapping. So apart from charging, we have swappable where you pull in. You swap your battery in less than three minutes, just a little over two and a half minutes, and you don't even have to pull in, the car drives itself in, and another robot takes your battery, and then gives you a fresh battery, and then checks the health of your old battery before charging it to give it to another customer. But then we also have upgradable. So upgradable means you buy the, if you buy the car, and whether you buy the battery or not, you can rent the battery or buy the battery, you can upgrade for a period of time and pay an extra fee. So if you buy a 60 watt kilowatt hour battery, you can upgrade it to a 100 kilowatt hour battery for longer range. Let's say you're going on a long trip, so you make less stops to either charge or swap the battery. It was genius and we're the only company that can do that as of now because of the battery swapping technology. With other cars, it, it's an extensive process to switch that battery out. Now, with our partners that joined us this year, uh, Chang'an, Cherry, Geely, SAIC, and others, they are making battery swap compatible vehicles uh, starting next year in order to use our battery swap stations, and their customers will have to pay us a fee for that. But as of, but as of now, our cars are the only ones that are chargeable, swappable, and upgradable. I just figure I, I just wanted to mention that yet again for those who don't know what it is and looking at my channel for the first time. This is why I believe we have the only winning business model. Earlier today, uh, local media, multiple independent, citing multiple independent sources that claimed, reported that the Firefly will use an extended range hybrid powertrain with the product expected launch in 2026. 
So now this local media to me is like Reuters, citing sources. <laughs> so we now know that this is un not credible, just like Reuters, just like CNN, just like the rest of them. The report cited a job posting from Neo that says the company is looking for power, noise, vibration, harshness, engineers requiring candidates to have development skills related to NHAV or air intake exhaust systems. But this was found to be a lie. Those independent sources were just lying. Hybrid models are currently growing, but William Lee wants to ensure that we get away from fossil fuels completely. China, like I said in my last video, used to have smog back in the 80s where people had to wear masks all the time. I remember that clearly. Now China is the, has the cleanest cities in the world. As of now, NIO is pretty much the only Chinese automaker still sticking to the pure EV camp with the company hoping to rely on replenishment facilities including battery swap stations to ease range anxiety. And range anxiety is a real thing, guys. So we understand that the only, the only way to get rid of range anxiety is battery swapping because who wants to stop? Let's say I'm leaving Pennsylvania to go to New York. Who wants to have to wait 20 minutes to supercharge a battery that will kill my battery in the long term even faster and run out of battery power? Instead, I can stop and swap if they were here in America. That's why I envy Europe and the rest of the world, the Middle East, North Africa, they're getting ready to have the best technology in the world while we stay behind in the dark ages. Neo's marketing describes its system as chargeable, swappable, and upgradable, emphasizing that its model can not, not only be recharged like traditional EVs, but can also get a full charge quickly through battery swap and have the flexibility to upgrade their batteries in case they want to go on a long distance trip. They have a longer range battery. We are the only one with semi-solid state batteries as well. Those batteries last a much longer time than lithium ion. Speaking with media, including CNEV Post on September 21st, the day after launch of the Envoy Subbrand's first model, the L60, NEO founder, chairman, and CEO William Lee jokingly said NEO would only consider launching a hybrid model if Tesla does so. But we understand that we're not going hybrid. He was just kidding around. Because, like I said, we, we are upgradable, chargeable, and swappable. Keen's response also clarified that NEO will officially unveil the Firefly brand next month. Local automotive media outlet Xing Chang reported last month that he announced at NEO's Partners Conference on October 10th that the Firefly sub brand would be unveiled at the NEO Day 2024 event on December 21st in Guangzhou. Earlier today, NEO announced that the NEO Day 2024 will be held on December 21st. Mm -hmm. Right around the corner, guys. Prior to the event, NEO will celebrate its 10th anniversary on November 25th. The company has set a common theme for NEO Day 2024 and its 10th anniversary together and further. So together, we will continue to invest in this company to become millionaires. And further, the company will go as we expand globally in the Middle East, North Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, and the rest of the world until America is ready to embrace greatness. So I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational, and motivational yet again on a Friday morning. If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up because it takes a lot of time to do these videos and the editing. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we're waking up the middle class for the first time to get a major piece of the pie because we're getting in from the ground level and as to how the game is played in Wall Street. And like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.